Usually summertime construction, at least around here, yeah. is not a welcome sight, but a community organization in Bronzeville was relieved to see traffic safety improvements made at the intersection in front of their building after years of fighting for it. It's a story our Charlie DeMar first brought you in March. He joins us now live in Bronzeville with the update. Charlie. Jim and Erica, good afternoon. And it might just look like another intersection, but for those people who work and live near this intersection in Bronzeville, they say it really represents a safer neighborhood for both pedestrians and drivers. Oh my goodness, it, it was like a racetrack. Urban Juncture, a community organization in Bronzeville, sits on that so-called racetrack at 51st and Prairie. Over the years, we had a number of crashes. So many crashes, they started taking pictures of the collisions and even reached out to their alderman, Pat Dowell, in 2018. We first told you about Urban Juncture's calls for a four-way stop in March after a car plowed through the lower level of their building. This has been something that we've been pushing for since 2018. Your story was extremely helpful. It was hard for you to get across. And then we see you today and they had to stop for you. After years of sounding the alarm, earlier this month, construction began and turned 51st and Prairie from a two to a four way stop. Keeping pedestrians safe, keeping the people who live in the area safe. Pavement markings and traffic calling posts were also added. But with change also comes adjustment. We were there as these drivers got into a minor fender bender. Pedestrian safety is extremely critical, especially at this intersection, and small things can make a really big difference. Now, back in March, Alderman Dowell's office told us that a traffic study would be conducted at this intersection. Today, we checked back in with the Alderman's office, and they told us that CDOT recommended the four-way stop back in April. Reporting live in Bronzeville, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News. Good to see results there, Charlie. Thank mm -hmm. you.